Hello and welcome to Verbio Gaming. Uh, we have, I have a new um, tutorial here on how to edit um, montages on iMovie 11. So simple, I'll just show you um, the video that I've just edited recently and what it was and what it is now. Okay, so this is what the clip was. Okay. Okay, uh, there's the clip before editing, and this is the clip after editing. Okay, there it is. Um, so simple to get up what it was, what it is now. I'll just mute that. It's so simple. It's just a color correction in there. So all the colors where where it says uh, yes, I'll show you where it's the C B flags there. A lot juicier, a lot standout colors. So's the Got the camo on the gun. It's a lot standing out a lot more than red. It's so simple. Uh, basically, all you've had, all you got to do, hit create. Make sure it has no theme. Uh, get the part of the clip you want. In this case, I want the whole clip. So you got the clip there. Uh, <laughs> Uh, thing is, this hasn't got any music, but we'll cover that later. Um, so, first thing you're gonna have to do: don't crop any of the clips yet. You got to um, get what um, contrast you want and color correction you want the whole clip before you clip it. It's a lot easier. So basically, you gotta go to this. Oh, okay, hang on. Let, let me just show you how to get that. Just go to that little arrow there. Do video adjustments. You get to this up. Um, basically, I'm gonna go to clip, and then do video effect. And you got loads to choose from. You can have none, or you can have flipped, which isn't very nice to be honest, because it looks horrible. Uh, generally, I that's the one that I used. Hard light uh, glow's a good one as well. That's a great one, but I'll show you hard light. You go. You got hard light there, so we'll use that. We'll show you how it is now with just that hard light. So simple at the moment. There you go. It's very it's getting good now. It's pretty similar to my one, but it's not quite there. The colours are not as juicy. They're not standing out as much. So to make them stand out, you basically need to go click on the arrow again and then do video adjustments again and then you got to do saturation and put that up to full okay so that's black and white and you got to put the saturation up to full so full 200 um, you can again have a little mess around with co contrasts so let's make it a bit brighter a little bit darker um, I generally leave them alone a bright uh, you can always do that as well if you it's a bit dark map which is, is but I decided I want the dark theme because then uh, it will stand out and you can always get exposure which is always good if you want some things blurred uh, yep well that's good and I'll show you it now it may not look hugely different from the last adjustment but it is um, it's just help loads as you can see, it's just a lot more clearer, a lot juicier. Um, the raindrops appear a lot better than they were, and you can see the three people running into a shot a lot easier. That's why I like that effect. And so then, uh, you got, you want, and now you got to find the part where you 
where he actually shoots three people, so just this is to sync the music there. Um, so it's about there ish, and then you want to right click and then go to clip split clip and you split it. So this is the part where is um, running up to the shot, picks off one player there, and then the split there, the goat splits exactly where he shoots him. That makes your job a lot easier. It makes it a lot easier, so just keep how it is. Um, what now you have to do is get some music, um, basically. You just import music through the microphone, the thing. And I'm gonna have this song change the way you kiss me. It gets imported. And you want to put that back. There you go. So this is how it is at the moment. Um it's not synced at the moment, but I'll show you that after this. Actually, I'm pretty pleased with that. It syncs quite nicely. Yeah, that sync pretty nicely. But I'll show you how to sync the um, one that I do on mine. Uh, you've just got to go to Clip Trimmer right there. And then you've got to basically pick the part of the track you want. So I want that part there. Just when he shoots him, because it gets quite a nice beat. So, just... okay. so I want that about there ish. Oh, oh god. Right, so yeah, you just gotta get the clip that you part of the clip that you want. So that I want. It doesn't need to be perfect, just get the part that you think will look good. You can see I've only got 10 seconds of music at the moment in there. And it's not synced at all. This. Yeah, this. Hang on, I'll shut this up. Turn it down. This part is generally takes the longest. You just gotta keep on running through. Oh yes, straight on the mark there. Yep, that is pretty much dead on. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to press down for that. And you got the music on, so let's listen to that. Right there we go. There it is. Um, at the end when the people go crazy, shot reaction, which is this, and there you go, triple, etc. You um, I want the music to. Uh, I don't want. Oh, I want the music to be less volume. So basically, all you got to do is just find the part of the reaction, which I'm gonna go from there, and then you have to um split clip again. So you're down there, and I want to go to audio adjustments this time, and you want to go to volume, I generally have mine down to about 50, 60, so I'll have 55 there. So when it comes, this would be normal volume, and then when it comes to here, uh, Yeah, it will be quieter. Just look there. Audio is pretty loud at the moment. And then it goes slightly louder there. So, 
So yeah, that's how to do that. And then to get the uh, the triples in mid air, like I done on the other one, I'll show you that. Uh, hit these. How to get triples flying like that? It's so simple. It's really is simple. Uh, you basically got to find the part where they all say triple. Just there. You want to clip that trip there. Split it. And then you want to go to this. And you want to go to this T. Yeah, one more chan. Uh, there you go. Go to T. And then find a text that you like. You basically pick that up. Uh, drop it anywhere on the clip. And then you want to write whatever kill feed it is. This is a triple exclamation mark. You want to get rid of that. Then you want to go to show fonts, and you want to pick your font. Uh, that looks pretty nice. Click that. Press your color. The white stands out a lot better. And we'll go for three. So you've done that. And cut. Oh, yes. Look at that then. Uh, it's a bit long, so I just want to bring that down to about there. Let me see how that is. Yeah, that's good. And then you simply just multiply that by how many you want. Uh, you don't want them to go too quick, otherwise they're hard to read. But anyway, that's basically. Yeah, that's basically how to make a quick edit. Uh, I spent a lot more time on mine just to finalise and, and everything. But it's just so simple. Uh, this has been Brad from Proverbial Gaming. We'd like to just say that um, can you please subscribe, comment, and rate this video for more tutorials, more edit tutorials, and more edits. And. Well, thank you for watching this anyway, and this has been Proverbial Gaming, out.